Okay, this is how you change a cheap SDR dongle, which I've got the one on screen now, which is a, the, the new Alec one. I probably wouldn't go for the Nano if I was going to buy it again. I'd probably buy one of the, the other USB ones, um, mainly because I probably think it's quite fiddly, easily lost. So I'll probably get the bigger units, but easier. Also with the heat as well. But saying that, I've had no problems with this one at all. And you can use it. You, you buy these TV setup thing rejects basically. But you, what you can do is put, a, which is a bit of the tricky part, is put like a special driver in it. And it basically does into all kinds of things where you can actually, uh, SDR, which is software defined radio unit, but also you can actually use it as a spectrum analyzer. But you've only got like a, a limited um, range on it, unfortunately, these ones. Which is uh, about 24 megahertz to about uh, 1700 megahertz and if you load that load the special drivers and then you can actually use a program called touchstone a spectrum analyzer which i'll just show you just now and, oops, not enough. right so we've got the touchstone software there my sdr is all plugged in oops. got my little aerial again that goes to the SDR unit and the USB dongle. And if I just start this up, and it's just scanning. It takes a few seconds. And as you can see, I'm only scanning from 24 megahertz to 40 megahertz. The reason for that is got also got one of these which is a remote control for a, a toy car basically I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but that's rated at 27 megahertz so I'll sit here and obviously send a signal out you see that that speak there uh, peak there and obviously that should be at the 27 megahertz again I'll press another one of the buttons so there we go so there's a quite a cheap spectrum analyzer. And you can pick up these SDR dongles, anything between about 10 to 20 pounds. Obviously you can spend more on better ones. But for this and the software, uh, because it uses the same driver, it actually works with the uh, touchstone software. So you get the software's free and it's for 12 quid. Can't really go wrong with this. So there you go. Ooh, just messing around with it. And it's software you can do a couple of things uh, so we look a bit better on there see the gears there again just scanning it so down here they're just going across there so it's not it takes a odd seconds obviously you can change that but you might have to go through all the frequencies bit by bit see if you can see any oddities okay hope that helps